Retin A, though, is one of the most important aspects for preventing and reversing fine lines and wrinkles in the skin. Like these retinoids have been shown for many years to boost the production of collagen. That, that's clear. They also do other things. They increase the growth of the epidermis and the striatum corneum, which are important parts of the, the skin, make it thicker. They also can actually lower skin pigmentation by about 60%. A lot of people want to have even colored skin. They make fibroblasts grow, basically stimulating cell growth, which is really important. They lower the lipids, so that's why it's often used as a defense against acne. And there's another thing that's important about these, are, there are what are called MMPs, this metallo proteases that break down the skin and you want to inhibit those as well, which is what retinols do. Actually, what they do is they go inside the cell and they, there's a receptor inside the cell that binds to the chemical that you're adding. And they, then they go in and turn on certain genes that provide all of this extra cell growth um, and other benefits to the skin. But you have to be careful because if you overdo it, you get really dry skin. And if you get it into places like your eye, it can be really unpleasant. They also have an advantage of creating keratin or promoting keratin? Right, so the keratinocytes are lower down in the skin. And so keratin is a super abundant molecule as well that's important, like collagen, for the flexibility. It's an important component of not just your skin, but your hair and your nails as well. And yeah, Retin-A can promote the growth of uh, the keratinocytes that make keratin.